Welcome everyone. Welcome to our Monday Midday Faith Lift. I'm Reverend Pat Bessie and I am the lead minister at Unity Center for Spiritual Growth and it is my joy to be here with you today. If you are new with us, um, please uh, put your name in the comment section and where you're from. And if you're with us and not new to us, also put your comments, your name in the comment section. Uh, Box so I can say hi to you this morning or this afternoon. How are you doing? Um, I've been hearing for, from some people that they're starting to get a little bit of cabin fever. And I do understand that um, this is uh, probably one of the most challenging things that we've ever had to do. And so I just invite you to just stand strong, hang in there. It won't be like this forever. Hey, Lisa, happy Monday to you, my dear. And the good news is the weather is getting better, so you can get out and um, get a little bit of fresh air, get a little bit of exercise. You might even find a walking buddy. You can do walking. You know, you can do that six feet distancing and walk. Might have to raise your voice a little bit to talk, but find ways. Find ways to um, use your creativity to make this work for you. So I'm going to um, share with you today a reading, and it comes out of a book I've used before, and it's called I Am With You Always, and um, it is by Douglas Block. Hey, Cindy Hildreth. Nice to see you here, my dear. And I'm going to be reading, the reading I'm going to be doing is titled Thy Will Be Done. We know that phrase, it's very common to us, thy will be done. When we turn within and seek guidance, we find two voices clamoring for our attention, the voice of God and the voice of the ego. And if you uh, were on, my, uh, on the service yesterday, you might not even think of that voice of the ego as the storyteller. I talked a lot about the storyteller. Following the divine voice brings peace and joy. Pursuing the path of self creates anxiety and separation. And that's exactly what the storyteller does. It creates separation. It is not always easy to choose the higher will. Often we have to give up that which the ego holds most dear. But as we release our attachments, we are reborn to a larger reality where true happiness and peace abound. When we can do that full surrender, when we can let go of what we are holding on to and not be fearful and know that we're always being called to our higher good. This is why spiritual seekers have always affirmed, not my will but thine be done. State your willingness to let the higher power work through you for the highest good of yourself and others. Meditating on the following words will help you attain this goal. The Lord makes known his will to me and I joyfully obey. Spirit guides my every step and love reveals the way. I'll read that again. Hey, Jack and Sue. The Lord makes known his will to me, 
and I joyfully obey. Spirit guides my every step, and love reveals the way. Once I complete this um, time with you, I will post that in our um, uh, on our Facebook page so that you will have it to meditate on. Ralph Waldo Emerson says, a little consideration of what takes place around us every day would show us that a higher law than that of our will regulates events. And there's no better time than spring to see that. When you can see the things that are starting to, to grow and open up, we have a tree right outside our door that just a day or two ago just had buds on it. And today it is in full bloom. And that's when I know that God is at work. I can just look around at nature and see that. From Course in Miracles, to say I of myself can do nothing is to gain all power. I of myself can do nothing is to gain all power. When this power is experienced, it is impossible to trust one's petty strength again. Who would attempt to fly with the wings of a sparrow when the mighty power of an eagle has been given him? I of myself can do nothing is to gain all power. Martin Luther King, there were those individuals in every age and generation who were willing to say, I will be obedient to a higher law. I will be obedient to a higher law. And then from AA on willpower, our willingness to be used by a higher power. So I'm going to read again the affirmation and then I'm going to invite us to just spend a couple of minutes in the silence. So the affirmation again is, the Lord makes known his will to me and I joyfully obey. Spirit guides my every step and love reveals the way. So let's just take a couple of minutes and sit in the silence with that. The Lord makes his will known to me.
And I leave you with these words from Edgar Casey. Repeat three times every day and then listen. Lord, what would thou have me do today? What would thou have me do today? And then the important piece is then to listen. Oh, I see my good friend Laura Beth is on with us today. Hey, Laura Beth, nice to have you. So my dear friends, you have your marching orders. What would thou have me do today? And so as you go through your day, just keep your ears and your heart open and listen for what God's guidance is for you. And then the most important thing is, is to do and take the action. It's one thing to hear it, but it's another thing to put it into action. So God bless you. Have a blessed rest of your day. And I'll see you right back here on Wednesday.